hello there darlings welcome back to the vlog i hope you guys are doing well if it's your first time here welcome my name is edwige and i love all things fabulous my channel focuses on fashion beauty lifestyle luxury and all good things if you're coming back then welcome back i'm so happy to have you back on my channel today's vlog is going to be a long one so please do bear with me kind of change my hair but on the rest of the vlog my hair will be different i just want to take this opportunity to thank today's sponsors anna louisa you guys know that i have been working with anna louisa for the past three years probably even four and there are brands that i love for high quality everyday jewelry their pieces are sustainable and water resistant meaning that they do not tarnish so i have some pieces here from them that i've had for the longest time and i still get to wear them and they always always without a doubt add that statement look if you know me you know that i love dainty pieces so their packaging comes in something like this which is super cute i do believe they have changed their packaging it was a bit different before and the first piece i'm wearing already is this beautiful necklace i love dainty pieces i'm actually wearing two um but i have long nails i couldn't take the other one off because i struggle so much hence why i couldn't let you watch me struggle to put this necklace on because the struggle was real ah because look i actually went a little like a few inches longer this time with my nails and yeah baby girl is struggling but anyway details how stunning is this necklace i have the bracelet version to it I'm just gonna pull my hair back i have the bracelet version of this necklace right there it features these beautiful flowers and i think this is the most beautiful dainty piece which is great for every day but also great for when you're going out um you can layer it like i have and it doesn't look too much because it's dainty it's beautiful if you're a girly feminine girl like me you don't like to wear anything that's too bulky then these will be perfect for you i love this necklace so much it's simple but yet very elegant the quality is amazing over time again even when it comes to rings this is what the packaging looks like sorry i forgot to show you like so okay um i love dainty pieces oh the color is changing because it's so easy to mix and match, stack it with other pieces. You cannot go wrong with this. Um, in the recent years, I have been stacking my rings. I never used to, I would only just wear like one single ring, but now I'm really into stacking my rings and wearing rings like this, like this one here, is a game changer for me. I love this one because it has diamante. It looks like a wedding band. It's gold with some diamantes, like so. How stunning is this ring? Absolutely beautiful. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> love, love, gorgeous. Oh my ladies, what do you think? Absolutely stunning. I love this ring. The reasons why I love Ana Luisa, you can look good on a budget without having to break the bank and that should be the slogan for Ana Luisa because their pieces are such great quality especially for every day but you can also wear these out if you want hey guys welcome back to the vlog I hope you guys are doing well I just had a shower and I want to spray something I'm gonna go for the um this is perfume de Mali Safans i'm gonna do a sit down video with fragrances i'm loving but i need to show you what's new in my collection first we need to bring back fragrances because i love talking fragrances i know that i got discouraged because i felt like you guys weren't watching but because it's something i absolutely love i'm gonna start talking about it again hopefully new people will come that will appreciate that content and those that are already here that love it also can also and they can also participate and you know engage in those content because i know some of you are here from my first ever fragrance video and you've absolutely loved it um <laughs> and you miss it so i'm gonna do that so today i want to show you some stuff that i got from um caramelin they kindly sent me oops I've opened it to try one dress on, so a bag from Caramelin, 
and I got some stuff from ASOS I think it's like two three pieces I'm not sure um, but I also got a skirt from uh, yes there's also this that's new and also this skirt that's new from Karen Millen so, yeah so this is Karen Millen and this is ASOS also so I will try them all for you today but what I'm really excited about it's Karen Millen so they kindly sent me this coat I'm yet to try it on so I hope it's gonna fit and they also I selected this firstly this dress this dress I thought was really cute. Let me push you back a little bit. Um, yeah, so this dress I thought was really cute. It's a knitted dress, has beautiful gold buttons like so. It's that military style and it has shoulder paddings on the shoulders here. So it's a bit like this jumper it's literally the same thing as this if you remember this v-neck military style jumper from caramelin with exaggerated shoulders it's literally the same thing but same material but in the dress version so i tried it on the other day because i was trying to go out but i was i told you i've gained weight so i felt really bloated i was like no and you could see it in this dress so that's why i haven't worn it yet but let me change into it and i'll show you okay so this is the dress on as you can see it features very exaggerated shoulders um v-neck gold buttons like we mentioned the only thing with this dress is the fact that the buttons doesn't open here i find that quite strange but you can open the button from here um it features a um what can we call this like a tie you can do it i think i will do it at the back it looks better or i think the model does it this way it looks so much better today because i'm not as bloated as i was last time <laughs> um i thought this dress looked really nice expensive um beautiful knitted material this is one staple for autumn winter a nice beautiful knitted dress it looks very expensive um i think even with this bag it looks good you know with some nice heels this looks really gorgeous because this is quite dressy i could wear this with boots like tiny boots you know my stuart witzman boots they're up to here but you could wear this with that as well if you have like ankle boots you could um i think it will look nice with my dior pumps as well actually so this is a very beautiful dress um fits you know beautifully i just i love the exaggerated shoulder details as well i think um i think this is really nice <sighs> my stomach is a lot nicer today than it was last week um because I think I have quite feminine shoulders. So adding that extra. And I've lost some fat on my arm. Which is good. I'm on the journey guys. Went to the gym this morning. Came back. Your girl is being consistent. Because I need these finger wings to go. Um, yeah I love this. I think this is very beautiful. What do you guys think? Definitely this is a keeper. And I love her with this bag. I think the colour is very beautiful. It's like a grey with a hint of purple very interesting um and i think this is what makes it look elevated is the color as well but i don't know if this is yeah i think that's better but this is very nice i like it with some shades you know beautiful i love this this is very nice i've not opened up the coat yet so you guys know the color of the season is um please don't mind the mess the colour of the season is burgundy, maroon, red, brown. So I opted for this brown coat. It's well, it's like burgundy-ish. So I opted for this burgundy chocolate brown coat. It reminded me of the other coat I have come from Karen Millen um, that you guys love, the beige coat. 
I wear that every year. I've had it for three, four years now. And this coat, is, that coat is literally my staple. So I opted for this beauty. Look at that. So it's fur, um, fur, for fur inside. So this is going to keep us very warm. I think this retails for 168, 160 or 180 pounds or something like that. And then we've got like a suede effect at the front. We've got some extra fur for fur also. The collar has a big faux fur in brown. I think this coat looks very expensive, very chic, and this will keep us warm. So let me go ahead and try this on. I got it in a size 14 because I want to be able to um, wear another, like a jumper underneath also. Let's see. Oh, okay. Wow. What do you guys think? This is beautiful. Ooh. This is beautiful, stunning coat. Wow, feels very, very warm. I'm not gonna lie to you, babe. This feels very, very warm. I wanna tie my hair back, but... Um, it's a bit big, but I think it's better so that I can wear a jumper underneath. Um, it doesn't have any buttons, so you literally just tie it with this. So, I think the way they did it on the model it was something like this wow it feels like a teddy coat i'll just step back for you guys but this is beautiful stunning features two pockets here and i can imagine wearing these with boots i think like a skirt or like a leather pants boots nice turtleneck jumper i don't i think i might do like an all brown look because i do have like these brown faux leather pants so i might do like brown leather pants brown jumper black boots put these on this could look really nice but i feel like this coat will look nice with shorter hair like a short hair or like a ponytail i think will look better or if i just bring my hair back like this yeah if i bring my hair back like that tie it in a pony that'll look really nice yeah this is the vibe i love this coat because it feels very warm but it's a bit long <laughs> but to be honest in the winter when it's cold you don't really i don't really want my, my hands out anyway i know i have leather gloves see can you see it's long all the way down beautiful it's giving you know that when you wet the trench with nothing underneath it's giving that vibe this is gorgeous very one of the things i love about this coat is how warm i feel i think i would wear it like this yeah you don't even need a scarf when you wear this like what one thing i love is a, the outfit imagine this with some boots babes love it you can even wear a dress underneath but i think i'm gonna do like an all leather look i doubt i'll even wear it closed maybe just wear it open beautiful stunning absolutely stunning i love it it's giving pat butcher it's giving cat slater in me stenders vibe but i love it i love it gorgeous 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 what do you guys think is this a yay or nay love this coat this is going to be a staple coat yeah especially when the makeup is done everything is done put this on crazy i love how warm this coat feels wow 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 okay so let me go ahead and try other things so guys i completely forgot to mention that the dress from earlier doesn't contain a button a, a, a zip which is slightly annoying but i'm not sure you actually need a zip 100 percent. but i just feel like it makes a difference especially when you have hips okay so this is a skirt from caramelin also the jumper I'm wearing is from Maj. I've had it for a very long time. I barely wear this anymore, actually. I feel like the light might be a bit too much there. Let me put you this way. I'm hoping this is better. Yeah, so this jumper, is it out of focus? I feel like it is. Yeah, this jumper is old from Maj. 
um, it's a half sleeve jumper beautiful details as you can see there um, ribbed details um, the top the main focus is the skirt this skirt is also from caramelin um, now I I received this from them I think last month um, I wore it no it wasn't last month actually I think it was two months ago I wore this to my friend's fashion show um, with a Balmain top um, and I think some shades but I think it doesn't hurt to wear it like this too it's I think it's supposed to be like this so this skirt is beautiful I got this because I thought it was quite classic and iconic so it features like a half skirt on top it goes across and then we've got some pleated details that comes out in cream absolutely beautiful I need I don't even know if this video is doing it any justice let me step back for you so it's like a midi a full length it's a full length skirt very beautiful let me push this back yeah right okay very stunning love by the way i need to show you this these earrings are from my girl oxydog you guys know oxydog from the fragrance she also does some she also has her jewelry collection and she gifted me these earrings and they are so cute i'm yet to wear them out let me see this is what they look like give me a moment oh sorry wait how do i <laughs> it's been so long i don't know how to do this anymore there we go so i'm actually gonna wear it although you can't really see my ears here just for the purpose of the video i'm gonna wear these so that you guys can see i'll leave her website down below so you guys can check her out but these are so beautiful they're giving designer but very affordable price so I think, please don't mind my hair, I need to take this out. This is really beautiful. I really love it. Um, you guys know that I, I'm really into earrings now. But I also like wearing studs. Ooh. But I like that this is not too small. It's It can be seen as dainty. Oh my god. You know when your nails are growing out? It just becomes so difficult to oh, do things. Okay. So this is what it looks like. Come closer. Okay. It's got Oxy O C O, I think. Beautiful. Both ears. Imagine your hair back. Even with this outfit, I think it looks really nice. So these are from Aussie Doll Collection. Let me put some gloss. I told you earlier about this e.l.f. lip oil. Um, there we go. It's good. One thing I found, I forgot to mention. I wore these out, actually, the Sephora lip gloss the other day. When I went out with Alicia. I found that 07 leaves like these... How can I call it? Like these... It's just weird, like a, a, a residue of the lip gloss but instead it looks like you have dry skin does that make sense and i thought that was very strange so i'm not sure i'll be repurchasing 07 but i like 05 05 is nice i've had no issues with this one just this 07 anyway as i was saying so the skirt is beautiful love it i wore them with these green caramel and heels and because this is an all black look imagine like a nice pair of colored shoe would look really nice and it did look amazing um next time i wear it i think i'll definitely wear it this way it's a beautiful skirt has like a belt detail here i will um put another hole here just so that i can make this a bit tighter because at the moment it's a bit big and i think creating i have a whole thing to create holes in belts so i'm gonna use that so imagine making it a bit more tighter like this i think is better there's less space okay and i think i would want to wear it more here 
and just make it a bit more tighter so that's really really nice i love this skirt i think it's really elegant it's very classy um at the same time i think it's a classic look because you can't go wrong with black and white you don't have to wear you don't have to wear black you could wear green if you want you could wear orange you could wear any color it doesn't even matter at all so i'm really happy with this skirt this is what the back looks like sting so caramillion thank you so much love this skirt it doesn't hide away your shape you know we can still see body so yeah this is very beautiful i never used to be a fan of skirts but lately i am loving skirts so this one is by asos but from new look as you can see it's the petite section i got it in a size 12 and i think it was 38 pounds um you guys know that i love a satin skirt i think satin skirts are a staple for every season i opted for the brown because brown is the color of the season and i don't think i have a brown skirt so i'm intrigued to try this on and the idea was to also wear it with something brown for the vibes <laughs> for the vibes okay so this is the brown satin skirt let me just pull this up so that we can get a there we go get a clean fit so this is what the brown satin skirt looks like very pretty it's uh, not maxi i wish it was maxi all the way to the floor but it's not looks very beautiful stunning feels amazing the material is a bit light to be honest it feels very very light but the color is stunning chocolate brown burgundy is really in right now so this is a really nice color to add i know we tend to always go black black and cream when it comes to satin skirts my god i'm out of breath but <laughs> it's nice to add a color of brown a shade of brown oh it's nice to add a shade of brown to your collection um beautiful still wearing the ossidor earrings i like this this is very nice i think yeah there's not really much to say it's a classic it's a staple you can wear this every season um you can wear it with any color well not any color but i think brown looks nice brown and brown black you can also wear brown and cream together so that's a good thing to know um i was thinking to wear with this i think this can also look nice it's so funny how we just stopped wearing this marine Serre. But I feel like she's really trying to come back from the hype of this collection. Um, I saw a leather jacket from Marine Sir. I think it's the men's and it was so cute. So, so nice. It's like a medium length, quite baggy. It's given like Balenciaga, but with the Marine Sir moon all over. In like a nice, uh, fair um white like the intensity was quite low very very nice visibility of this was quite low muted so it was very very nice but yeah this could be what this could work together for like a casual look so who knows i might wear it together um yeah this is really nice this is a good choice very good choice like i said i need a maxi leather uh, satin skirt that's what i need in my collection i also need a leather maxi skirt i think when i get those two i'll be very happy okay so here what did i order here oopsie so from uh, asos <laughs> from, from asos i ordered from fourth reckless this is a knitted um waistcoat i think this could even go very well together with the satin skirt very nice even like this why do i even feel like hold on i can even add this on top of what i'm wearing i feel like it will look really nice let me try for you guys i do love a good waistcoat but i have waistcoats already so i don't need to buy any more um 
I liked this because it's um, knitted. I was just wondering if I could wear it like this, just for to add a bit of edge to the outfit. I feel like, um, hold on, I'm not sure. Maybe if this had some body to it, if I mean some structure, I could. But I like this is a no, no. I was just trying to do something different there. Guys, I'm really trying to work on my posture. Um, I've become so like lean, I lean forward all the time and my back is always like this so i'm really trying to stand at all you know okay let me go ahead and try these things on for you so i'm trying the waistcoat on properly now <coughs> and it came with a matching knitted skirt from fourth reckless it's a long thick contains a thick band like so on the waist as you can see very thick band so I'm excited about oh I'm excited about this it feels a very very expensive um, so this is the skirt on um, I think I like it open this is very nice I love the skirt, if anything. Let me try and close it and see. Because it just feels very expensive. This looks very angelic. Feels amazing. On the body, love, love this. So imagine, imagine like a very sheer shirt underneath, like a white or cream shirt underneath. That would look so good. I don't think I have anything like that in my wardrobe anymore. I need to find all like a sheer, like, you know, those very light sheer jumpers. Worry, but I think something that has a bit of structure and volume will look really nice because obviously it's cold now. But this is beautiful. Very angelic. I'm thinking which shades could I wear with these? Um, could I wear these? Could I wear these? even those yeah like so many so many let me try these mimi ones so imagine like these mimi shades a red lipstick maybe this is beautiful i love this stunning some chanel earrings or even these still look very good i like it and a nice handbag let me see i need to get a white handbag guys i need do you know what? I'm just going to use this today. Because I feel like this goes with everything. You know? It is gorgeous. With some heels. I feel like... I could do Jimmy Choo's on my feet. Let me try. This is very nice. Yeah, Jimmy Choo's look good. We can consider this as a cold. Because colds are like a big thing of the season. Um, I like it. You don't have to wear them together. You could definitely wear them separately. I love the thickness of this. I think that's one thing about this fit. It's the thickness that I like. I think it's gorgeous. And I love that the skirt is maxi all the way to the floor. Do you know what? I think I've lost a bit of weight, you know? Because the way I've been beating myself. Like last week, I fasted so much. Because mm -mm -mm, my belly was just, oof. My arms just felt big. Everything felt big. But your girl has been going to the gym. There's definition coming through. Can you see? Can you see? <laughs> There's a bit of definition coming through my arms. So, can you see that? Can you? Can you? Hey. <laughs> so, I'm very, very happy because I have been putting in work. You know? Can you see that? When, you know, I'm not where I want to be just yet. I'm getting there. Um, I need to lose the weight on my face. But, um, tout va bien. All is good. All is good. God is good. Yeah, because the flab that I had here, no, 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 no. But it's going now. As you can see, compared to before, 
your girl's doing good Get off this is really nice what do you guys think should i keep it should i not i like it i also got a knitted dress this was before i was gifted the one from caramelin i don't know yeah i'm not gonna keep this this one is a lot more thin thinner compared to the other one and it has a tie details so which is quite interesting i can't be bothered to try it on because i know that i'm not going to keep it but let me try it on just for the purpose of the video so this is the second dress that i got from h and h and m from asos um i wasn't going to try it on because of the dress that I really have from Karen Millen. I do. Guys, I do like it. I, I just, I wasn't sure before, you know, but this is what it looks like on. Oh. It contains a tie at the front, like so, but could you, you could do it at the back if you wanted, but I think the model, I'm not the best at tying things, wore it something like this this is more of a bow but i think hers are hanged i don't like that you can even just do that if you want okay i'm not so good at tying things guys please bear with me no i don't like it tied i think i like it like this you know that when it just hangs there this is cute because my hair is pulling back can you see that? I don't know what is happening. <laughs> oh. But this is the issue with going to gymming and having frontals. Is it a frontal? Yeah, I think I always get so confused. My hair glued on and going gym is like the worst thing ever. Because no matter what I do, I feel like sweating and the heat, it just softens this up. Okay, so what do you guys think? Which do you prefer? To be honest, I feel like they're both very different. I like this. I like it, it's different. I don't know. I like that it's different. You know, I wasn't even gonna try it on. One thing I like about this dress is how soft it feels. It feels very soft on the skin. When you touch it, it's like a fluffy, you can't even see it guys. I don't know if you can see, can you see? It's like a fluffy material. So it feels warm on the skin. It feels soft, like super soft. Even when you touch hair, it feels very soft. And the softness gives it like, I don't know, like a cozy feel. And I love how the neck is. Can you see the neck? It's not like your traditional turtleneck. It, I don't know, it like comes around. And because of the sides, it just, this makes it look expensive. I feel like this looks expensive. It was probably around 38 pounds, 40 pounds, 45. This looks very expensive and I like it. I like it and I like this. I don't think I have anything like this. Guys, I don't know, help me. Should I keep it? I'm trying to think, what could I wear this with? Um, I could wear them with boots, for sure. Trainers, for sure. I could wear them with heels. I could even wear them with my Dior pumps. Let me see. How do these look? Oh, guys, this looks so good. And so classy. I like that. Oh, my gosh. I think I'm going to keep this too, you know. Because I really like this. And I love this detail here. And I wasn't even going to try this on. Do you remember? I was like, nah. I'm not going to try it on. But this is gorgeous. It looks very, very expensive. This is perfect for the new season. It's gonna be perfect for winter. And I think, you know, spring, early spring, because it's still very light. You could wear this. This is nice. <laughs> I don't know. Guys, comment down below and let me know, do I keep this or do I send it back? Because at this point, I'm a bit confused. I like it. Okay, cool. So this was the last piece. Guys, please comment down below. Let me know what you think. I paired it with these shoes. 
and I think they look good they look really really good okay let me know what you think and yeah this was all for this part of the video I hope you guys enjoyed it please comment down below let me know what you think I should keep should I keep this or do you prefer the one from Caramelian because I don't need two but at the same time the Caramelian one was gift was gifted I do love a knitted dress in a new in a um, autumn winter season because it's just easy you don't have to think about it you can just throw it on and you're ready to go that's why I like it and I think it looks really good it's making me look slimmer also and I like that <laughs> please let me know what do you think should I keep it yay or nay and I think I'm annoyed because I can't I don't really know how to tie this you know like how do you tie this so I will just leave it to hang because I think it looks hey better. my loves welcome back to the vlog I hope you guys are doing well today's a new day and welcome <laughs> I've got so many PR sent in one from Givenchy I think I showed you this before I think I did and i need to get rid of some makeup there's a lot of powders that has finished a long time ago and i'm just keeping it for the sake of it and i don't know why so i thought as i'm doing this let me just you know let's do it together because i wanted to show you a jacket that i got from um from asos it's a denim jacket but it's via asos but from another stories i think and it was given Mogler. You guys know that I have the Mugler jeans from with H&M, the collab, and I got it in a size 12. It's too small. I remember the first time I got it, I literally squeezed myself into it, but I couldn't breathe. I did a video. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can find a video and put it here. And I tell you, I couldn't breathe. Um, so I found someone that can stretch jeans. My sister's already been to get her jeans tailored, cut. I need to go and get mine stretched and I think it would look so good with this jacket because this jacket reminded me of the Mugler cropped jacket so that's what I need to do I need to try it on with you guys but let me just show you quickly what we have here so this is my makeup this is where I keep my makeup and I want to get rid of some stuff oh by the way Tatcha has released these lip tints it's the kiss you tint it looks like so these are so good especially when why are you not focusing especially when you don't want to wear a lipstick and you just want something that's going to add a bit of color to your lips let me show you how nice is that it even has like a really nice gloss so nice just adds a slight color to the lips they're so pretty so so pretty i think i have two colors i've got the carmela which is more like a dark berry red and this one is um plum blossom it's like a light pink it's like a lip tint so good um so my powders that i have that i love this is the chanel poudre universel libre this is like one of my favorites i love this i've had this for some for some time actually i don't like to use too much of it usually when i do use it i use it to powder my under eye or i use it as an overall powder so that's the only time i use this but i don't like to set my eyes with it it's usually once i've really set i've set it in my eye i use it on top if i want like a neutral look or i use it all over my face as a powder but to be honest i don't always use a powder all over my face when i do my makeup that's another thing so i'm gonna keep this i'm going to um this huda beauty powder was kindly sent thank you huda beauty in banana bread so this is banana bread is more of a lighter color compared to canufa i recently bought canufa so i like to set my eyes with canufa i set my eyes with this and i use banana bread as a highlighter powder i don't know if it's going to oh my god what is going on doesn't want to focus but yeah banana bread i use it to highlight 
so these are the ones i'm gonna keep and i'm gonna keep my chanel powder i'm also going to keep i've got this laura mercier powder which was kindly sent to me a while ago um it's like an under eye highlighter but let me just go on my knees i think it's gonna be better Aye. let me bring you down okay better so this was kindly sent by laura messier but i don't really use it but it's a highlighting powder okay so i'm gonna keep it i need to take out my hair so please don't don't watch this i need to take this out this is another powder that i love this is the chanel le beige um i use this as a um like a overall powder to like remove excess oils so i usually go out with this i like that this doesn't add too much color to my makeup and it doesn't take away or add much it just removes the shine it removes the excess oils so love that and then Givenchy sent me the this is the Prism Prism Libre in 05 in Propylene Mimosa um, beautiful packaging thank you Givenchy I'm really excited to use this this is the neutral combination as you can see and they sent me a small one this has like different shades they've got lighter shades highlighting shades so we've got neutral contour highlight highlight shades okay so I'm, I'm excited to use that so i think we will bring that here and they also sent a small uh prism libre this is the green like the multi-colored one like so because this isn't a smaller size, I think I'm going to keep this for when I travel. So I'm going to put this where I keep my traveling stuff. And they sent a Le Rouge Interdit Satin Lipstick, which looks like this. I think satin lipsticks are literally my favorite because they have a nice shine to them. So beautiful packaging. Beautiful nude color. Love this. I'm excited to use this and look it's got the Givenchy logo inside oh you can't see it but it's a very beautiful lipstick and yeah I'm excited to use it so to be honest my lipstick tray is actually full um why sales even sent their lipsticks I don't know if I ever showed you I need to do a, a try on video trying on these as you can see I've never even tried them um, but yeah, I'm going to do a video soon using all YSL products. Um, so I'm excited for that. This is, no, we don't need to, this is old. I need to show you Charlotte Tilbury. Um, so I had Laura Messier powder. I think I do found this powder ooh, to be a little bit too dark. So I'm probably going to give this away um i had the laura mercier translucent powder this finished a long time ago i just kept on it i kept it for day for day life um Givenchy also sent their foundation this is the prisma libre glow the reviews on this is insane i tried it on once and babe so good i'm excited why do you keep <laughs> there we go exciting packaging is insane love it super luxurious oh just look at that the color match is perfect i am in color 6w oh god 6w420 beautiful beautiful it just feels like butter on the skin another one that i've heard is good is lancome their new uh, foundation i sent in a request for a gifting and i'm waiting to get a reply back but once I get that foundation, guys, it's game over. I need to do like a video featuring all my favorite foundations um, because I'm now a NARS girl when it comes to foundation. I was never able to find a NARS foundation before. And now I can. I'm so excited to use it. And yeah, like my foundation collection is growing and I'm excited, babe. I'm very excited. So these are all my foundations. I know you can't see. I'm going to show you after. 
yeah i think that's all they sent in you know there's quite a few i've got pat mcgrath Givenchy. this is estee lauder i still haven't found my perfect match with estee lauder this is the double wear foundation which is amazing but i don't think i have my shade um i have two nars i finally found my shade with nars i have two different foundations from them um sorry two different shades i mean so love that uh this is my all-time favorite Giorgio armani i don't know why this is not yeah love love this one of my faves don't watch my nails need to go and get them done and my friends over at mac sent in a foundation in nc55 i do believe this is my shades or nw45 i'm not sure um but yeah and then i have a charlotte tilbury so i do have quite a few foundations at the moment i have fenty foundation too i do find the fenty to be a little bit on the red side so i don't really wear it anymore because it makes me look too red um, because it looks too red i find that i have to pile on loads of makeup just to make it work and then i start looking crazy so yeah okay let's go try it on the jacket from asus so i just received um pr Ta -da! <laughs> and it's this to be honest i don't know this brand it's called matrix this is food for soft hair rich hydrating treatment mask okay you know what i'm gonna use it today because this hair for some reason the texture has completely ruined and i don't know why this is the last hair that i did um and you know what's annoying i feel like is this i, I always get so confused is this a frontal or a closure when you have a closure wig i think this is and it's glued down and you're gymming and exercising babe it, the hair doesn't last it's so hard i'm finding that i have to do my hair every week because the glue just isn't sticking because when you're sweating it softens the hair doesn't it so and i find that it feels a bit itchy because of the build-up of the sweat so i have to take it off and just do it fresh so i'm glad that i got this they also sent in multi-use hair oil serum so i'm gonna use that to be honest i don't really use too much oil on my black hairs because i do find that they tend to get a bit oily oh what's this they also sent in um i think this must be shampoo and conditioner so we've got the matrix hydrating shampoo we've got detangling hydrating conditioner great we have uh multi-tasking treatment so i'm guessing this is like a, a heat protector or something uh leaving for nourishment boost shine smooths the cuticles helps prevent breaking from brushing adds moisture helps prevent heat damage yeah so this i guess is like a a heat protector thing and now moment for the h&m uh, sorry zara gosh for the um, asos package Oh my god who remembers the days where we'll just take a picture like this for the um oh my days for the thumbnail well it was on sale and it, i think it originally was like 150 and it went down to fifth wait 60 pounds and i got it in a size 12 because that's all they had and like i said it reminded me of that i don't know what it is with asos these days every time i order something from there their things have like this really funny old smell like damp smell and that's what this smells like so this is a denim jacket guys it's slightly um shoulder padded it's got a nice structure and it's slightly cropped at the bottom so you can see that this the bottom is shorter and it kind of gives in it comes in to give you a shape um beautiful i really like it 
I love the detailing here. I don't know if you can see. I love that. I think it looks really good. However, I realized that I don't like the buttons. I think the buttons cheapens the look. So if I decide to keep this, the aim would be, it would be to change the buttons to something more simple. Um, but nonetheless, nonetheless, I do feel like it looks expensive. I love the fact that it has shoulder paddings. Yeah, it's got like a slight shoulder padding um, just to give you that exaggerated feel. I would probably change this to a, an exaggerated shoulder padding. This is something that I used to do back in the day. I used to really like alter my things myself and I stopped doing it. I don't know why, you know. Wait, where's the padding? Okay, so there's a pocket here where the padding is. It's just right there, but I would probably make it look more exaggerated. So I got it in a size 12. It's from another stories, but via ASOS. I hope this is going to be fine. I feel like it's going to be a bit too big. I got it in a 12. I think maybe a 10 would have been better on the arms, but I could always actually wait let me push you back so that you can see so this is what the jacket looks like i really fell in love with it when i saw it um it can be worn with like i think the model wore it with black leggings with some red shoes which was quite cute as well what do you guys think i mean i like it but i think it's definitely too big here it needs to get taken in like that because i'm petite isn't it i feel like here it's fine size 10 would have been too small like here because already like here can you see that it's a bit tight there so i think yeah, you see, a size 10 would have been too small. Um, let me wear something darker underneath and I'll be back to show you because this is not, it's not giving. Okay, so I went ahead and tried it with something black underneath. So, guys, I don't know, help me out. I got this because I think it's not trendy. It's something that's classic these buttons are so annoying I don't even know like what is what is it okay I mean I think it's too big it's nice I love the shape this is what the back looks like I love the shoulder padding but it's too big on the arms yeah it's too big I think it's here unless it gets taken in like that taking some fabric from here because they don't have a size 10 anyway you see you see that looks better i think it works compared to this this is too big but it's also quite big here i think it's supposed to be a bit tight like that that's how you see the beauty of it what do you guys think? Should I keep it? Should I return it? I don't know. Let me turn you down a bit more. I don't know. Do you like it? Because imagine it double denim. I'm just trying to imagine myself with heels. But I don't know. I like the concept. I like the idea. Um, but I feel like it's supposed to be a bit tight. Yeah, I think this is too big for me. It's big all over. Like, <laughs> I think a size 10 would be too small here. But, I don't know. What do we think? Guys, let me know down in the description. But I think I'm going to send it back. Because it's, it's requiring too much work. Um, it would have been perfect. Absolutely perfect. But, yeah, look. <laughs> it's too big. <laughs> I'm so gutted. I was really looking forward to this jacket. Because I believed it was going to work. I've been looking for something like this for a while. But I've not been able to find it. So this is annoying. Hmm. 
I'm not happy. So tomorrow morning, I need to go and take that down. And I received something from uh, BDK fragrances I want to show you quickly. Look at that. Obviously, I want to do an unboxing for TikTok because I reached out to them on TikTok because um, they followed me and I was like, yeah. <laughs> so I reached out and they sent me, I have one fragrance from them and they sent me their discovery set. Um, and I want to do like a proper luxury unboxing style video for them. So I don't want to ruin the packaging. So what I might do is, yeah, just slide it, babe. <laughs> I just slid it and look, BDK. I'm so excited. Oh my God. Oh, wow, look at that. So this is like a tester of all their fragrances that they do. I've been dying to try Grease Chanel. Chanel. This, I've been dying to try this. Um, can you see it? Grease Charnel. Every time I go to the stores, I can't find it. I've got Creme de Queer. I've got that. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to see which one is my favourite. And I'm going to um, request for a full bottle. I'm hoping that I will like um, Grease Charnel. Charnel. Um, Grease. Is it Grease Charnel? Grease Charnel. Yeah, Grease Charnel. Okay, this is supposed to be like a woody perfume. <laughs> I need to do my nails, guys. And there is the tester. Ah, that hurt, actually. I think I need to get a fresh set because what I hate is when the back of the nails turns yellow. It looks nasty. I don't like it. I think if I was a man, one thing that would turn me off on women would be women with dirty nails like there's just something that i hate about it like now i'm finding myself cringe because i'm like why do my nails look like that okay let's go and smell gridio i was gonna say gridio gris charnel charnel okay obviously when i do the video it's not gonna be my first impression anymore okay are you ready i'm excited Mm. Oh, this is good. Ooh. Oh, wow. So, Gris Charnel is a woody oriental dark base. It smells expensive. This is opulent the blend is smooth but it's very woody okay um this fragrance even does it remind me of anything i would expect like a tom ford fragrance to smell like this let me see what are the notes okay we've got cardamom fig black tea something tea-ish yeah irish iris uh, bonbon vertiver, sandalwood, tonka bean. Yes, this I think this is a unisex fragrance. It's mesmerizing, but in a most unexpected way. Um, this is definitely an, an evening signature scent. Uh, very sexy, very sexy. It's not sweet. It's literally oriental, dark. It's, you've got the black tea, which just gives it a little bit of that freshness um there's a very dark ambiance happening here and i just i love i love it um okay what else oh they have gris charnel extract hey it's about to go down let me smell it just to see if it's any different this one is black um do you know what as i'm talking to you i'm trying to think of how i want to do this video um of introducing every single scent um i want to be sat down somewhere cozy i want my hair to be done dressed casual but expensive vibe um this is bdk gris charnel extract so this is going to be a lot more 
uh, intense. No, I prefer the 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 original. This one is not as intense, actually. Um, this one, I feel like, goes more towards a more warm, gourmand sort of vibe. Um, slightly skin-like, but you still have that tea, that tonka bean that's there. But I definitely prefer the original because it's a lot more dark. It's a lot more um, mysterious. It's a lot more mesmerizing. Um, and it has more character, for sure. It has more character. It's this one. Um, that one is more of like, wow, what is that? You know, I need a full bottle of that. But I will definitely do a full review video. BD BDK, thank you so much. Merci beaucoup pour cette cadeau. C'est vraiment gentil. I will see you in the next video. I'm planning to post three videos a week now. Your girl is back and stronger. With God, with God, with God. <laughs> I was just saying on Instagram like yesterday because I posted the video yesterday and you guys were, the comments, the messages on Instagram were just amazing. You guys are so supportive. Like, I thank God for you guys. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for, um, thank you for watching. Thank you so, so much for worrying about me. Like the messages had me tearing up like, oh my God, like you guys are the sweetest thank you thank you you know i was just explaining how this year from the beginning has been quite difficult for me like mentally physically and i've just been trying to find my feet i needed to take a break to catch my to catch my breath and i feel like i've done that um and god has been by my side each and every time so i'm really really thankful and yeah i will definitely do my best to post three videos a week um, I'm hoping it's going to be Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. Um, but yeah, just bear with me. This week, I think it's going, to, it's going to be two videos. But after that, I will pick up the pace, film more. And yeah, we take it from there. If you're not subscribed yet, babe, I don't know what you're waiting for. Subscribe because you don't want to miss out. I want this to be like a beauty 101, like beauty, fashion, lifestyle 101. So I'm just, when you do everything yourself, it's kind of difficult. I think a lot of creators like have partners that um help them you know film na, 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 na. i don't have that so i'm just i literally do everything on my own but hmm, we need to teach that one or we need to teach that one how to do this we need to teach him <laughs> thank you so much to anna louisa for sponsoring today's video i'm so happy that i picked these beautiful stunning pieces they are very dainty very elegant and easy to match with other pieces great for every day so so beautiful i cannot wait to wear this out i think it complements my fingers very well so easy to stack with other rings also i'm just not going to stop speaking with my hands <laughs> thank you so much for sponsoring today's video and guys thank you for watching until the end don't forget to check the description box for all the details in regards to purchasing these pieces they are so gorgeous Mwah! i'll see you in the next video bye